Leroy's Pokemon Sapphire Walkthrough Part 25. Alright, this is it. It's a Swablu, and this is what we're going to be trying to catch for our final team member. Now, Swablu is a normal and flying type. When it evolves, it will be a dragon and flying type, which is going to make it really awesome. And that's why I'm catching it. So this is going to be my sixth and final team member. So I will be, um, my team will be full after this, with all six of the Pokemon I'm going to be using, so that's awesome. And yeah, now we're going to try to catch this thing with a Pokeball. So right now it's only at level 16, not too strong or anything, but obviously we're going to be training it up. Along with the rest of our Pokemon that are at an extremely low level. <laughs> um, but that's okay, so yeah, there we go, Swablu. Now, um, I've been thinking about it, uh, if you guys remember in the last walkthrough, Pokemon Leaf Green, I asked you guys to give a nickname, um, I asked you guys to give me your nickname ideas for Hitmonlee. And I thought that was really fun because it was a way to interact with you guys and, you know, let you guys nickname the Pokemon for me. So I'm going to be doing the same thing with Swablu. Um, I want you guys to leave a creative or funny or unique nickname for Swablu and leave it in the comments. And I will be going through all of them and picking the best one and that's what I'll nickname it. So don't leave me like a personal message or don't put it on my channel. Just put it right in the video comments. Um, whatever you want me to nickname the Swablu and I'll pick the best one. So yeah. And we're going to use Rock Smash here because there's an item. And there's a protein, so yeah. And actually, hold on. Aha! Our HM Slave has picked up an item. Yeah, if, if you don't know, uh, Zigzagoon has the ability pick up, so it can pick up random items while you're battling. So yeah, we got a free full heal, so that's nice. And we're going to continue along the mountain. Um, I don't know if you can really call this a mountain, but I guess that's what it's supposed to be. Oh, and here's a uh, fire dude. If you're lighting a campfire, make sure you have water handy. I like how they try to give you, like, real-life advice in a Pokemon game. Like, ooh, if you're lighting a campfire, make sure you have water handy. It's like, yeah, thanks, because I'm definitely going to be lighting a lot of campfires in this Pokemon game. But anyways, this first Pokemon's a Slugma. I don't know why I put Tambora in front, because I should have known he was going to have fire types. So we'll go to Athena. And I can't wait until Jelly Belly actually learns Bubble Beam so I can use him against fire types. And I can't wait until um, Nummel learns Magnitude so I can use that against fire types. But anyways, I think I'm going to use Calm Mind um, at the start here because it'll make it easier to sweep through his team because it'll boost up my special attack. Plus, if he wants to use Ember or something, my special defense is raised. And Smog! No! Why? Why Smog? Oh. Yeah, if I were to make a list of all the evil moves in Pokemon games, Smog would be on that list. And I actually need to do that sometime. Just the moves that everyone despises. Smog is definitely one of them. And wow, you still lived. Rock throw. How the heck does a slugma use rock throw? The thing has no arms. How can it throw rocks at you? Ah, oh, this game makes no sense. <laughs> Anyways, that confusion's gonna kill it, and we're almost gonna die from poison here. So isn't that just great? Oh, and he has a wingle, so... What the heck? Why does he... Oh, I get it. He said always have water handy, so he has a wingle. Wow, this guy is actually smart. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and... Wait a minute, what did I just do? I meant to use Shockwave. Crap. I just used Calm... <laughs> I'm an idiot. Now, wow. I could have, like, easily just lost the battle right there. Would have been smarter to just heal, because the thing's faster than me, too. Okay, now I need to use Eliminate, because I don't want to die. That was dumb. This battle could be over, but I just had to, like, misclick and use Calm Mind. Do you guys ever do that? You just completely use the wrong move. Oh, it's so annoying. But yeah, anyways, he has a Wingle to put out the fires that his Slugma starts. Ordinarily, it would make no sense for a Fire-type dude to have a Wingle, but at least he has an explanation for it. So yeah, this Shockwave's gonna kill it. And now it's dead. Alright, so yes, level up to 22. And... I don't know how close Jelly Belly is to leveling up. And, uh, let's see here. I better heal up. Oh yeah, I forgot, I don't have any- I really need to go to the Mart and buy, like, antidotes and stuff like that, because I don't have any of those. I keep forgetting, but I still have my, uh, berries and stuff. And that's why I recommend picking berries, because you can use it for useful stuff like this. And let's move along the mountain. Oh, and here's a hiker. So I think I'm gonna switch to, uh, Grovile, because he's probably gonna have Geodudes. Um, and yeah, we're good. Alright. If you're not prepared, you shouldn't be up in the mountains! Yeah, seriously, like, are these really mountains? Like, we're just, like, walking on... We're not even climbing up, and there's, like, stairs and stuff. But whatever, this dude has a Geodude on his team. Oh my gosh, a hiker with a Geodude! Oh, I've never seen this before in my life. Like, hikers always have stuff like Gyarados and, like, Electabuzz, but never Geodudes. Like, oh my goodness. 
Wouldn't it be amazing if he had like a full team of Geodudes? Like, I would just be... My mind would be blown completely. Let's see, let's see. Oh my god, he has another Geodude! Are you guys seeing this? A hiker with not one, but two Geodudes on his team. Like, oh my god. Wow. I just... This is why I love Nintendo so much. They always keep you guessing with their Pokemon. It's like, you never know what the hiker. He might have one Geodude, he might have two Geodudes. Oh my god, he has three Geodudes! Wow. Thank you, Nintendo, so much for putting so much variety in these games. Just always keeping you guessing. Like, you can't blink in this game, because next thing you know, he's going to be throwing out another Geodude. Wow. All I can say is wow. This guy right here, like, if it wasn't for this dude with the three Geodudes, I swear this game would be, like, ten times not as good. The mountains are unforgiving. In case you didn't realize, I was being completely sarcastic. Because every hiker has, like, freaking five Geodudes on his team. And, oh yeah, back there you can see a little black square, and that's where you can build a secret base with the move Secret Power. Yodelay! Hoo! It doesn't echo here, up in the mountains. Whatever. So, here's another hiker. Wouldn't it just be crazy if he had a Geodude? Oh no, he has a Machop! And that's actually... Yeah, hikers always have Geodudes and Machops. It's like, the rules. The rules of the hiker. Like, I always thought it would be hilarious if, like, a hiker is born in the Pokemon world, and he's like, he goes out and he catches like a magic carp or something, and he comes home, and his like family just is like ashamed of him. They're like, "Son, you're supposed to catch a Geodude's like the rest of the hikers." And he's like, "No, but Dad, I want to train a Gyarados up to be a Water type master." He's like, "No, you are grounded. You must catch Geodude's." It's like seriously, every hiker is like only catches the same Pokemon, or whatever. And this Machop will die. So yeah. Let's see what else he has. Ooh, another Machop, alright. Oh yeah, it's in the, in the older games they have Onyxes too. It's like, what's the deal with like, do all the hikers in the entire game just like, get up in a group, they're like, okay guys, we're gonna pick three Pokemon, we're all gonna have them, just to annoy every single player in this game. Oh well, whatever. Yodelay, hoo! And I think that's all the trainers in this mountain. So, we can head into... Wait, is there an item right here? Oh, no, there's not. Okay, never mind. Um, let's head over here now. This is Meteor Falls, and we're going to be heading inside. Alright, now, uh, you got to love the music here. It's just amazing, but... Um, let's see, do I have Repel? Oh, d dang it, I keep forgetting to buy Repels. I need to go to the Mart. Wow. Okay, anyways, if you come up here, you can grab a full heal. And there's a lot of wild Pokemon in here. Um, stuff... Rah! You can find Zubats in here. Lots of Zubats, apparently. And look who it is, it's Team Aqua. Ah. Yeah, it's Team Aqua. I keep running into Zubats, but anyways, they're down here, they're like, hee hee hee. They don't even notice we're here. I love how they, like, they don't start talking until you right when you get there. And then they start, like, telling everything, and they're like, whoa, look who's behind us. Um, I don't know who you are, but you better not get in the way of Team Aqua. Expect no mercy, raw. Anyways, oh wait, here comes Team Magma! Wow. Yeah, now if you're playing Ruby version, it's gonna be the other way around, and Team Magma is gonna be the bad guys, and Team Aqua is like the good guys. It's kind of like the Bloods and the Crips, you know, but it's like Magma and Aqua. And there's like drive-bys and the... You know, you know how it is. It's, it's like the thugs and the gangsters of Pokemon. But anyways, they're, they're all arguing about this meteorite from Mount Chimney, and they run off, and then... This is Maxi right here, he's the leader of Team Magma, and he introduces himself to you. And I love how I don't even talk, but he's like, oh, so your name is Leroy, but my character literally doesn't say anything. Um, but yeah, he kind of befriends you, I guess, and he tells you that he pretty much hates Team Aqua and wants to destroy them all, so yeah, they go chasing after them. And we will be following them later, of course, because, you know, we're the only ones that try to stop these people in this game. Apparently there's no policeman or anything, it's like they let some ten-year-old kid do everything. Um, but anyways, there's a dude down here you can talk to. This is, uh, Professor Cosmo, I think. Yes, and he actually lives in Fall Arbor Town, but his house was empty earlier. So, yeah, we need to get the meteorite back to him, and we will be doing that later, because it got stolen by Team Aqua, I guess. Um, so yeah, and back to the wild Pokemon in here. You can also find Soul Rock if you're playing, uh, Ruby or Emerald, and if you're playing... If you're playing Sapphire, you can find Lunatone. And those are some pretty rare Pokemon. And there's a Moonstone right here also. So I think we're actually going to be heading down here because there's a route down here with some trainers. And I think we're going to be doing that in the next video.